Glad to see you showed up. It's me, Hark Harkinson. Uh, here, here to answer a question. What defines a community? And I'll tell you that today. Signs. Signs, signs, signs. Definitely used to define neighborhoods, generally. Uh, this sign is particularly selling this uh, area right here. As you can see, in big bold letters, all capitalized, they have for sale. Pops out in your face, and you're like, Jesus Christ, I have to buy this land. It's pretty freaking fascinating. Wouldn't you agree? Come along, folks. Looks like there's an estate sale in town. Notice how the pink sign catches your attention from this dull scenery. It sure caught mine. As I began walking down the neighborhood, I began looking for what other signs could possibly define it. This is a neighborhood watch sign, which basically says that um, the neighborhood will report suspicious activity, uh, our, our suspicious strangers and so forth, to the police or the law enforcement, uh, which shows that the neighborhood is safe. see, there is a uh, security sign here. It tells you and warns you that this house, possibly even community, is secured by this security uh, system, which confirms people's beliefs on uh, the town and community safety. Delicious! This school on the 24th will be having pasta night, a time of which the community is involved and in funding the school to have this night. Well, in a sense, this uh, pasta night uh, gives us an idea about what foods the uh, the town likes. Like, for example, it, it's probably uh, possible that they, they like pasta. It's a friendly kind of persona, and it's like, hey, come tonight on the on the 24th, on the 24th night of uh, September, and have some delicious pasta. Um, also, uh, probably the aim, as I mentioned earlier, of this uh, sign here is to possibly get funds for the school, supposing that the pasta night isn't free. But over there, as you can see, it says pre-order. Your pasta today. One thing's for sure, because of that font, I definitely am pre ordering that pasta. This sign right here helps describe and actually uh, tells. The passerby, what rules and what sort of uh, laws are, are, what things are permitted and not permitted at the school. All because I think the community actually gives in to, uh, they tell them what they want out of their uh, schools. Um, uh, it, it gives uh, when the school hours are, when uh, visitors, they have to directly report to the office and um, it's, they, they try and force, they try to enforce the, uh, the safety of the students and, and pretty much just the school in general through these rules that are offered by the school sign. Now, this, this sign right here tells us that this room is safe from fires. As a fire extinguisher is inside, I'll notice that it gathers your attention through these, these uh, red letters on white. It kind of brings your eyes to it because it just pops out. And it's um, a fair warning to those that feel like they should set a room on fire that somebody in there will uh, put their fire out, so it's useless. Anyway. Each classroom is required to have a fire extinguisher, and these signs being on each classroom ensures a student's feeling of safety. Now for a look at some dandy advertisements. Wowee! Great tasting and refreshing? 
Only 35 cents? How come water is more expensive than soda? Gee whiz bots, TV heaven! Taste the training! Webkins? I see free and that's all that matters. Uh, you get the point. People use whatever words, fonts, colors possible to get their products sold. Notice that this also applies to laws and warnings and so forth, and how the colors and the fonts can demonstrate their meaning more than the words alone. Also, sometimes pictures are shown to help give enthusiasm to the sign's true meaning. Well, that just about does it. I'm Hark Harkinson, and see you later. This school is American.